Kind of late in the day to be going to the office, don't you think? I, uh, I have some catching up to do. Yeah. How long is that going to take? Why? We're having dinner, 8 o'clock, at the palace. <gasps> don't tell me you're finally getting it. That we need to do some, you know, regular married people things every now and then. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, well then, uh, why not go all the way? Oh, forget the palace. We can stay here and, and I can cook. We'll make it early so Star can join us. Oh, Star would love that. I, I can't remember the last time the three of us had dinner together. Well, I thought you were just trying to protect her from my table manners. All right, look, it, it's a good idea, kind of. I, I don't know, we'll do it sometime, maybe. I, tonight is more of a, of a business thing. I'm, I'm meeting Ian Armitage there. You still trying to pick his brain about the, uh, the newspaper business? Well, yeah, I mean, his dad was a media mogul, and I want to be a media mogul. I'm going to ask him if his dad gave him any tips on what he did. Now, why would Ian want to encourage potential competitors? Well, you see, that's where you come in. You can do that lawyer thing. I mean, you know how to push everybody's buttons, you know, get them to... Get them to open up. Before they know it, they're saying things they never thought they'd say out loud. And that's why you asked me to dinner, to uh, grill Ian Armitage. Yeah. No, it can be relaxed if you want. I mean, you can have a drink or an oyster. Or... Look, you're good at subtle, right? I mean, Ian will never know what hit him. Sorry, Todd. A business dinner wasn't what I had in mind. Right, like you have other plans. As a matter of fact, I do. And uh, not just for tonight. You going someplace? So that's it. You what? You you're just going to split? Look, I know you think this is working. What's working? This. This. I helped you make a stable home for Star, or, or at least one that looked that way to the world. No, not the world, just the judge, until I got custody of the kid. And I got that. So, yeah, I think that this or whatever is working. Now, what? Is it the money? Did you spend $5 million already? No. No. It's, it's not about the money. It's about the fact that none of this is real. A little... Our little family, and and you don't care. You're fine with the way things are, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm so I'm gonna go away for a couple days. I just need some time alone to sort things out. That's all. We had a deal. And if I break it, you will get back every penny. You're not gonna do this. You're not gonna walk away from this. Todd, you don't need an emotional connection to anyone. But I was kidding myself when I thought I could live that way. I have Star. So do you. And Star is the only reason that I've made it this far. But even that's not right. I mean, it's one thing to pretend to the whole world that we're a family. But to pretend to Star, I, it's made me ashamed of to lie to this child that I love. Right. So, you don't want to hurt this child. And that's why you're going to walk out on her? So what do I tell Star when she wants to know where you went? Star will be fine. Just like you were fine when your mommy ran out on you. This is different. How is this different? I'm coming back. When? As soon as my head is clear. I just, um, I need to sort things out. And in the meanwhile, Judith will be here, and I'll stop by and ask Vicky if she can come by. Star will not be alone. Whoa. And who knows? Maybe her father will quit the wheeling and dealing for a little while and spend some time with his daughter. You're the one who's walking out, and now I'm the bad parent? Oh, come on. You're a workaholic, and you know it. I'm trying to give my kid everything that I didn't have when I was growing up. Yeah, but that wasn't money. You missed out on a family. Yeah, well, now I got so much money, I bought a family. 
Now, you read your contract. You signed on to give Star a loving, happy family. Yeah, so you'd look good during the custody battle. All you want, okay? You don't need me anymore. You don't. I was always dispensable. That's why the contract only lasts for a year. So well, what is this, just a warm-up? You're trying to get Star used to the fact that you're going to be gone? Well, maybe she ought to get used to it. <laughs> because I don't care what my contract says. You don't want a family. How do you know what I want? I don't know why you don't want a family. <laughs> maybe because you almost had one with Blair and Star and then you lost it and now you have part of it back you've got your little girl and you've decided to settle for that I don't that. settle for anything the rest of it's window dressing I'm window dressing and um I don't like it I'm sick of pretending that I do I have to get away from I have to get away from you, Todd. Well, Carlotta stepped out, and I'm filling in. Can I get you anything? Yeah, I'll have one of those little wafer things and a shot glass of red wine. Looking for Taya? Maybe. She left. And I got the distinct impression she didn't want company. Well, I don't want to be your company. We're married. Where'd she go? She didn't tell you. I figure she doesn't want you to know. So you did talk to her? Yes, I did. So where is she? She needed a break from the uh, 21st floor, Todd. And that's about the extent of my information. Wonder who that is. Hello. I figured it out. The secret of life? No, definitely not that, but I know where you are. Well, you're wrong. I haven't said anything yet. Well, it doesn't matter what you say. Uh, the answer will be no, whatever you come up with. All right, look, I'm, I'm a cruddy person. I have a rotten temper, and I often have food stuck in my teeth. There, is that what you wanted to hear? I didn't want to hear anything out of you for about, oh, 72 hours. Where are you? I'm gone. That's all you need to know. I can't believe that you would just walk out on me and start. I just needed, um, some time away. You're holed up at Rachel's, aren't you? Now, why would I be at Rachel's apartment when, um, that'd be the first place you'd think of? Why are you giving me such a hard time? You know, if I didn't know better, I'd think you were trying to say you missed me. Now, the only thing I'm missing is the whole point of this stupid game. Let me more. I'm stuck at the Palace Hotel, and I'm waiting for, for Ian Armitage to get here so I can grill him about how his old man made his fortune. And you're not here to help me. You're not here to support me. Sorry. I made other dinner plans. Forget it. I give up. I, what, what is the point to this whole lesson, the great Professor Delgado? Because I don't get it. You're a bright guy. Figure it out. Have a cookie. <sighs> Wow. Put a phone in the girl's ear. Stand back. <laughs> At least it sounded good. Sounded good. Girl, you were amazing. Whatever stunt Todd Manning tried to pull, he's sorry now. It's not as much what he did as who he is and who I am. It's really getting to me, Rachel. What? Your marriage? <clears throat> My mirage. Oh, sure. I'm officially Todd Manning's wife, but I'm also confused, exhausted, going nowhere professionally. Oy, and I haven't had sex in so long that I'm not sure I remember how it's done. Well, I know I don't remember. But I have an excuse. I'm single. <laughs> Right. 
and go ahead.